time. You know, because there was that many people there, I just didn't think I had a chance in hell, really. But I remember thinking, my God, those judges are really harsh. Can't some blood my feet. Do you know the tune of Angels? Seeing people breaking down even from, like, the first, from the outset, from, I, uh, you're not through the first little round, you know? I'm simple as that. I'd have been all right if I hadn't f***ed it up, but I made a total mess of it. I even forgot the first line. Monday morning, it was all at home. Congratulations, everybody, for being here. As you know, we've seen thousands. So the Birmingham auditions, it was more like the harmonies and stuff. It wasn't individual voices. Suddenly here we were, five parts singing, a cappella. Everyone was going through a really strong process, a really hard audition. And I just knew that no matter whoever got through that, they were going to be successful, because they just had to be. I'd never done harmonies before in my life. I'd always sung, like, on my own. The London auditions you come for a week. I didn't bring a week's worth of clothes because I thought that would be really smug of me to do that and two, I didn't have that much confidence. And yeah, we did make friends along the way and we did meet some really lovely people but we were all in competition and that's the sad thing about it. I would have loved to have met them all under different circumstances. We're not going to ask you to come back tomorrow. It's the emotions running back there in, in the green room as we waited were just so traumatic. They really, really were. Because the caliber of people that was being turned away was so, so high. That's ominous. So I'm afraid I'm here to say that you haven't made it to the final five, Kelly. All right. Hello, Hi, Nigel. Susan. How are you? My Nigel came and knocked on the door and he walked into the house and I thought, I've not got it, I know I haven't. And he sat down and he said to me... You split the judge's decision, in truth. Yeah, yeah, OK, fine, just get on with it. You know, tell me the news. You split us two and one. And two went for one girl, one went for another. And he really milked it. He milked the whole conversation. And the one was eventually persuaded to go with the other two. I was like, get on with it. Stop dramatising this. It's the keys to the house. Welcome to the band. <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> I picked everybody in this group, bar me. I did it. <laughs> well done! <laughs> well done. Oh, my God. I was really worried when I first joined the group. You don't know who you're going to be with, and yet you're going to be living with them. We would have made it work if we were just going to work with each other, but we don't even have to make it work. It works for itself, because we're friends. We're the best of friends. I am not thick. Do not anybody try and tell me that he did not direct that at me, because you really are f***ing me off now. <laughs> I'm not the sort of person that just totally flips my lid but then you have to think back and you have to remember what sort of stress you were under at that point in time and you have to try and put it in perspective and go well you know in all fairness to me I was actually feeling really down that day. You thought that because you had two children that would affect you getting into the band or not? They could have just sat me on the spot because I hadn't been honest. Before I was doing this I was on income support, living in a rented house, um, getting about £100 a week. And I was fed up of them making do. No! <laughs> At first it was really exciting when the press jumped out on us and we had to hide away and we had to wear these masks. But from that point it was like everything was happening. Soon afterwards she unexpectedly fell pregnant. I was already pregnant! <laughs> God. You think, why are people doing that? Why, you know, why have people got so many opinions and why are people coming out of the woodwork? This is the woman that thinks she slept with Danny when he was 17, right? Can I just say one thing? As if. People can see the truth, you know? Um, and that's one of my, my great loves of the show is the fact that it just writes everything that's wrong about us. It fascinates me how, through the power of a TV show, 
your life can change instantly. It takes people a long, long time to get where they want to be. And I'd been trying for years and still hadn't got anywhere. So, you know, this show's been brilliant. I take each day as it comes, especially nowadays, especially being in this position. To look us into the future is just, whoa, oh, sorry, what's happening tomorrow? The people who do like us like us is because they can see that we're not, we're not anybody special. We're just normal people who have been given a great opportunity. We're so lucky. We're so lucky that it's come together. That's why it's going to work, because we make it work. So many people have watched the programme and we've got a lot of support. And if they stay with us and they still like that music, we could be around for a very long time. You're gonna be there. live at Hearsay's house waiting to hear if they're going to get to that all-important number one spot. Eight minutes to go, I can see on the screens. And I'm here with probably the five proudest women in Great Britain because they are Hearsay's mums. Now, let's see whose mum are you. Suzanne's. OK. Danny's mum. Yep. Kim's mum. Oh. <laughs> feisty, feisty. <laughs> Mylene's mum. Mylene's mum. Noel's mum. <laughs> Look, just let's go back to Norse one. <laughs> just, just explain what's happened to your voice there. Um, well, Wales won the rugby for starters. For yeah, starters, yeah. And I've learnt all the words to the song, and I've lost, I've lost <laughs> my voice. Let's and hope that doesn't happen to Noel. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully no. not. It's no. me that does the screaming. <laughs> <laughs> now, what number are they going to get to, ladies? Number one. Number one. Good girls. Okay, and Mother knows best. Okay, so after the break, we'll find out. Hopefully, if Mother really does know best, whether they got to that all-important number one spot. So we'll see you in a minute. See you then. Yeah. <laughs>